Well, welcome to All Classic Car, and in this compilation we are looking at classic Leyland trucks, the good old lorries of yesteryear, and to begin with, we have MUE 990, seen here on a Cheshire run many, many years ago. This is a Leyland Comet, uh, first put on the road late in 1952, quite rare, as it's an articulated lorry, this particular example. Very, very smart indeed. Is this still around in the area? If you know the history of any of these old trucks, including this one, 4309TR, a later Leyland Comet. This one dates to 1961. If you know where any of these lorries are now, uh, please pop a note in the comments and update us, because it's always interesting to read uh, about your thoughts regarding the vehicles that appear in these compilations. Next up, we are down at Gaydon for the uh, Commercial Vehicle Show in 2023. There is a separate video all about this meeting. And here we've got a Leyland FG with the old Thrupney bit cab. This is quite a late example. It's on an R plate, so late 76 or early 1977. But yeah, this is a very, very late example of the FG. Now we're over at Onslow Park quite a few years ago. A couple of classic Leyland lorries here. In the foreground we have AHL 622. That's a Leyland Beaver. This one dates to late 1946. That has a 7.4 litre diesel engine. Very, very smart. A brewer's dray, in fact. Okay, this was photographed at Landed No in 2023. Again, there is a video specific to this meeting. We've got another Leyland Comet, PFH380. This one is an early 1956 example. Very, very smart it is, too. In the livery of Brian Thomas, Derbyshire, sand and gravel. Okay, next up, a Leyland Comet MTB194. This one is from 1950. This particular Leyland truck is on Sorn, the statutory off-road notification, which tells us it's not on the road at the moment. So maybe it's having a bit of work done to it, maybe a repaint, who knows. And here's an unusual one, a bit more recent. This is on a B plate, and this is a Leyland Cruiser. That registration on the B tells us we're looking at a truck of about 1984. Here we are back on the Cheshire Run many, many years ago, and the lovely Leyland Beaver here, an Arctic. What a great looking old truck that is, and the total garage in the background. That's changed ownership a few times, and look at the Little Chef. Who remembers Little Chef? That's long gone, and there still is a restaurant there, but it's no longer a Little Chef. Okay, KTJ519 is next in this list of classic Leylands. Another example of the Leyland Beaver, this one slightly earlier, 1948 and has a 9.8 litre diesel engine. A flatbed body on this particular truck, but yeah, what a bobby dazzler that is. I do like this era of flat fronted trucks, I must admit. Now we're at an auction many, many years ago, about 2005, I think, over at Donington Park, and there was a commercial vehicle auction. We've got XGV 907K. This dates to 1972, and AEC Marshall, um, but it was Leyland owned by this point in time, hence the Leyland badge on the front there, and the Leyland ergonomic cab. Ergomatic cab, I tell a lie. Okay, Sand Match Transport Festival next, BWP 323. This lovely old Leyland Cub dates to 1938. It's got a drop side body on this particular vehicle. It still shows up as being taxed and on the road, which is great, great news. To slightly more recent times now, about 1985, and we have a Leyland Constructor. Another beauty here, Sub 701 is the registration. This is an eight-legger, the Leyland Octopus, and this particular lorry dates to 1954. What a cracker that is. In delivery of British Road Services, BRS. This was at a time when the road haulage industry here in the UK had been nationalised. Okay, 476 BWR is the next one. This is a Leyland Super Comet, and this particular truck dates to July of 1962 in delivery of Ivor Owen and Sons of Wrexham. And there are a few PSVs, public service vehicles in this collection as well, just as a reminder that Leyland did do buses and double-deckers as well. Here we have a 1967 Leyland Titan X St Helens Corporation, a PD2-47 is the model number for this particular bus. What a great old girl that is. Now we're back down to Gaydon in 2023. Like I said, there's a separate video all about this event. 
ONN387 is a Leyland Comet recovery truck, um, complete with a caravan being towed behind it. You can just see it poking around the back there. What a great old truck that is. Slightly more modern CMA64S. This is a Leyland Clydesdale tipper dating to 1978. Like so many of the photos in this collection, this was photographed on the Cheshire run for classic and vintage lorries several years ago now, parked up here at the halfway stop. And back to pre-war Leylands now, what a beauty this is. WX8873 is the registration. It's a 1932 Leyland Bison, first registered in the Yorkshire West Riding Area. Now here we have an ex-Cardiff or Carefilly um, Leyland bus, a 1966 Leyland PD2. This was photographed somewhere around the Bristol area, if memory serves. Another NY, we have the double decker just now. This is G NY 212N, a Leyland Clydesdale from 1974. Maybe some of you watching this actually remember driving some of these lorries back in the day when they were a common sight. If you do, please let us know in the comments what these old trucks were like to drive. I doubt many people remember running these back in period though. FMA 210, a wonderful Leyland fire appliance at Leyland turntable ladder to give it its proper name, dating to 1939, ex-Cheshire Fire Service, and it started life in the Macclesfield area. This used to be a regular at many of the classic lorry shows we used to go to, but I haven't seen this one for quite a while. 8218KC, that's a Leyland Comet, dating to July of 1962. Somewhat later, we have a Leyland Reaver here. This is on a T plate, so 1978. Is that a Hyab or similar type of grab on the back there? Of course, the Leyland name is still around, Leyland Trucks, um, although it is a subsidiary of Packard now in the USA, having been part of DAF for very many years. Now, here's a lovely pre war lorry again. CGC 223 is the registration number of this one. It's a Leyland Beaver dating. To 1935. This one shows it's still being taxed and ready for the road, so it's great that this one hopefully is still out and about. Back to the Cheshire Run, WVB 888 is a Leyland Steer. That's a London registration that was introduced in September of 1959. The Steer had the two steering front axles at the front, hence the name. we have here GFU 741 a Leyland Beaver this one registered in April of 1950 this one shows up as being sawn as well so I'm wondering if this one is part being restored somewhere maybe receiving a fresh lick of paint or change of livery perhaps some fresh sign writing if you know please let us know in the comments okay FPR 593 is a 1953 Leyland Comets it's the tractor unit so it would have had an articulated tractor on the a trailer on the back at one point in time um, do you know where this one is now? Is it still around? A much later Leyland parked alongside it there. Looks like a Clydesdale. And into the military now. HRM 165 is the registration of this one. It's a Leyland Hippo. And this was photographed at the Eden Camp Museum. Probably three, four years ago. Something like that. more recent though this one UJD 496S that's a Leyland Marathon 2 this one was registered right at the beginning of 1978 it was up for sale when I photographed it here a little while back and it currently shows as being sawn so perhaps there's a bit of work going on on this one maybe over the winter ready for next year's season who knows okay on an S plate now we have a Leyland Chieftain this one dates to 1977 and I believe is part of quite a large collection of classic lorries here in the northwest. Okay, next up, there's a great old one here, UXM156. This one dates to late 1959, and it's on Sawn at the moment, but I remember this one 
Um, it used to come past here on the way to several steam rallies and lorry events and you could hear it coming from a mile away, grinding its way along, really low geared, doing about 20 miles an hour. Okay, next up, another example of the Leyland Reaver. There's another example of the Ergomatic Cab alongside as well on that AEC. Classic horse box action now with this V-Reg Leyland. This is a Leyland Boxer horse box. Nice bit of sign writing on the door there. And there on the right is that Leyland Steer that we saw just a few moments ago. HCJ493N. Another example of the Leyland Clydesdale from the early 1970s. This one in the livery of H. Richards and Sons of Cannock. And there's a lovely Austin K8 on the trailer behind it. I think that one was for sale, the Austin. What a cracking little thing that is. And a Scania parked alongside. Now we're down at Dover Transport Museum as a destination blind shows there. And PHJ953 is a Leyland PD3. An open top double decker bus, ex South End Transport apparently. Yeah, this was a great museum. Again, there is a separate video on the channel for the Dover Transport Museum. That one's well worth having a look at. Now we're back to Onslow Park quite a few years ago. A big steam rally takes place there every year. We've got RF9571, a 1932 Leyland Badger. A flatbed body on the back of this particular example. Really rare. Quite rare to see these bonneted Leylands now. Another example of the Leyland Chieftain here, an articulated truck on a W plate. That's quite a late example of the breed. That puts it about 1980, I would have thought. ICI livery on the door there. This is a rare one, TBB938. This is the Leyland Comet from 1953, X Mines Rescue Service. So, a very unusual coach built, specially bodied. Uh, example there specifically for mines rescue. What a rare, rare vehicle that is. I'm assuming it's the only one left. I wonder how many of those were made. Next up, a Bison 2 KNE 883V from about 1979. Look how big the windscreens were by this point in time compared to those just 10 years or so before. This one looks like it's got a heavy duty tipper body on it. Now, first of two photographs featuring PUJ703. I think this is the earlier of the two photographs. This is a Leyland Comet from early 1958. So shown here on the Cheshire Run. Here it's got some very smart sign writing and an overall green paint finish and a drop side body. But as you can see, it has been transformed. I'm sure this is the later of the two photographs. It's now in dark blue and with clearly a hidden living accommodation on the back there. So somewhere to brew up at those uh, steam rallies that you take all these old lorries to. But yeah, different livery and living accommodation on the back. But is this still looking like this now? Maybe it's changed again since then. Now we're back at Landed, no? And the transport festival over there and the Sea Reg. So 1965 Leyland Comet. Very different cab. This is the LAD cab. These were shared between Leyland, certain models of Albion and certain mod models of Dodge as well. The Dodge 300 series, I think. Now we're over on the Isle of Wight for the uh, Bus and Coach Museum over there and we've got a Leyland National here. Who remembers seeing these? I'm sure these were used on the school runs when I was a little bit younger. I seem to remember seeing these everywhere, but now not so often. Back to Gaydon in 2023 and the rally down there, GPK 554. That tells us that this is a July 1938 registered Leyland uh, Beaver. This is a petrol engine truck. Quite a short wheelbase on this particular vehicle. Huge petrol tank there with the gauge on the side. And look at this. Fantastic with a living van accommodation on the trailer behind. Um, what a great looking thing that is. USJ645. A super comet from 1961. This one's on Sawn as well. And look at that funny little Willam alongside the little Lambretta based van. A bit like Postman Pat's. Okay, to much bigger vehicles, ECN 73, a Leyland Comet from August of 1954, and it looks to have a horse box body, a wonderful wooden coach built body on the back there. How great is that? And here, a Leyland Comet again with the LAD cab on it. This particular truck dates to 
from 1965. It appears to have a livestock body on the back as well. Still plenty of these classic Leylands to come. Fear not, there's 78 photos in all in this collection. Here, back in North Wales, CUY325N. I think this is probably a Clydesdale. And it's a non-original box on the back there. And judging by the windows, again, this has living accommodation on the back. Which makes it a very practical old lorry to take to shows and such like. Perfect for a rainy day. Now isn't that just wonderful? This is one of my favourites. Not the favourite, that's still to come. But this is one of my favourites, definitely. This Leyland Octopus KYF317. What a beautiful looking old lorry with the old roped up load there on the back as well. That looks just perfect, parked up in a truck stop. But I do also like this as well, ABH358. This is a Leyland Cub petrol engine, about 4.2 litres I think this one. This and the Cub dates to mid-1933 in the livery of Bounty Motors. Um, there is a collection of vehicles just like that, not far from here. And I think this is probably one of them. Lovely looking vehicle. Okay, EKX 895K Leyland Beaver from 1972 in Arctic. And again, with what appears to be living accommodation on the back there. Very, very handy. Oh, we're back at Onslow Park quite a few years ago in the mid-2000s. ATC 340, 1935 Leyland Hippo. This, I believe, is now at the British Commercial Vehicle Museum. Um, but clearly back then it was still out and about and going to all the rallies and so on. And doesn't that look wonderful? MXX503, another Leyland Beaver of the mid-1950s. This one with a flatbed body on the back. So perfect for fitting some living accommodation onto the back of. If it's not already been done, I'm sure it will do one day. And here, I think this belongs to the same collection as the uh, Cub we saw a few moments ago in the livery of Pritchard. And a lovely vehicle, this one. A Cub HL7538 is the registration. It dates to 1936, this one. has a 4.3 litre petrol engine. And what a stunning old vehicle that is. Somewhat more modern, uh, not really my era, I must admit, but I've included it because it's quite a rare vehicle now, this Leyland. On a G-plate, this is a Leyland Constructor Tipper. Next up, we have a Lynx here from 1979. This one shows us being on Sawn, and here it had an old Bedford on the back. Of course, over the years, Leyland adopted many, many other manufacturers. They took over Scammell in 55 and Albion in 51. And in 62, they actually took over AEC as well. OK, well, back momentarily to PSVs. And we have a 1965 registered Leyland Titan here. What a bobby does that is. Look at the destination behind Cheadle and Gatley. That's where I grew up in Cheadle many, many years ago. I left there in 1998, I think it was. Uh, this is a lorry, a brewer's dray, uh, that used to live very, very local to where we are now. And we did used to see it so once or twice a year, but not so much lately. And it's just a lovely looking vehicle. Another example of the twin steer, the Leyland steer, with the twin steering front axles. But yeah, a very handsome old lorry. And as is this, another beautifully sign written vehicle, MTY 354. This particular one with a flatbed body, a Leyland Comet. Dates to 1954. A really smart ERF alongside. I do like those wraparound screens. Next up in this compilation, another horse box or well, livestock bodied version of the Leyland Lynx WEH58S. That's a Staffordshire registration number, so it hasn't come too far. This was photographed at the halfway halt on the Cheshire Run quite a few years ago now. Here's an oddball one in the livery of Portland Cement, advertising blue circle cement in bulk of Leyland Beaver JXL191. Continuing this look at the classic Leyland trucks, we have another Leyland Reaver here on a V plate, very, very smart indeed, in the livery of GW Garlic of Buxton as is the other vehicle alongside that we've already seen in this compilation. This Again, this was, I didn't know, I think this year, 2023. 
Next up we are to Steam Rally quite a few years ago, FVG 440, another beautifully turned out example of the Leyland Comet, again with a correctly sheeted load on the back which looks just perfect. What a great old truck that is. MWB 616, this one dates to 1948, Leyland Beaver, again with a really nicely sheeted load on the back, probably disguised living accommodation under that tarpaulin I would suspect, but yeah, very very nice indeed, and again this certainly was a regular at many of the events we've been to. Look at this, I think I've only seen this the one time many many years ago, DLK 125C, a Leyland Octopus tanker no less, what a cracker that is. Another slice of Militaria now, SSU 545, seen on the Sandbatch Transport Festival in the mid-2000s. Lovely Leyland Hippo from 1945, this one shows up as Sawn as well, so uh, hopefully that one will be out and about again very, very soon. There's another little Bobby Dazzler, 14980C, a comet from September 1956. Still a few more of these ancient Leylands to come, so uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Leyland trucks, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if you're a fan of British lorries in particular, have a look around the rest of the channel. Okay, another PSV now, BJK 675D. This uh, Leyland Titan is ex-Eastbourne Borough Council. But yeah, there are similar compilations for other lorry manufacturers on here now, Foden, AEC, Albion, and so on. So if you have a go on the site search, on the channel search, you should be able to find those as well. Okay, we have a Leyland Beaver here. This is another example of the Ergomatic Cab. Great visibility out from that one. This one with some recovery gear on the back. Now, if you saw the Eccleshaw video from 2023, you may remember this one, HVS 474, a very odd looking Leyland prototype with a couple of tractors on the back, but yeah, um, that's really is the definition of forward control, I think. What an incredible looking vehicle that is, and it's so great that it survived as well. This is my favourite. I mentioned there was a favourite, and here it is. WV63, a magnificent Leyland Royal Tiger with martial body, as used by BRM, the Owen Racing Organisation. What a fantastic looking vehicle that is. This was at the Chumley Pageant of Power. Okay. A Leyland Octopus tanker now in the livery of SO Petroleum Company Limited, 598CYU. Any of these vehicles, if you put those registration numbers into Google Images, more often than not you get some load of extra information on the vehicles shown. So if there's any particular vehicle that you like, try that. Okay, here's a lovely old scene. You'd think this was maybe back in the, what, late 1960s, early 1970s, but no. This was much more recent again on the Cheshire Run. Anyone local to the Whitchurch area will recognise the old garage on the right hand side there. With a real plethora of old classic vehicles there and a well laden lo uh, Leyland lorry on the side. Okay, not many to go now. And a Shropshire registered Leyland Clydesdale is next. BG9225, an ex Birkenhead Corporation, Leyland PD1, just about post-war. This particular bus dates to 1946, and what a little cracker that is, isn't that? Just wonderful. I love the old sign writing down the side there. Fantastic. And here's a bit of a rarity. I don't see these ones too often. This is a 1964 registered vehicle, a Leyland 90. And I think this is probably the only time I've seen this one. This was either Astle Park or Onslow Park, one of those steam rallies, but I'm not quite sure which one it is. But yeah, it's certainly a rare vehicle now. Oh, another one of my lovely favourites here, the flat-fronted Leylands of the 1950s, JDF 827, a Leyland Beaver in the livery of February's Transport of Gloucestershire. And here, CRN993, ex Southport Corporation, Leyland Tiger, PS2 with Burlingham Coachwork. What a fantastic old survivor that is as well. 
a lovely Bedford alongside it. And that particular Leyland completes this look back at classic Leylands, mainly trucks, but also a few PSVs off the 1930s through to the 1980s. Like I say, there are many compilations now featuring classic lorries elsewhere here on the old classic car channel. So please have a look around, uh, click the subscribe if you like this kind of thing and uh, the notifications bell so that you'll be alerted of any future uploads to the channel. And yep, there'll be many, many more videos along very, very soon. So bye for now.